Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here, and I want a show of hands to see who likes cauliflower. I like cauliflower. Um, however, cauliflower does get a bad rap, um, I must say. A lot of people don't like cauliflower. I do. And I want to make a dish today that you're going to like. Uh, it's very low carb, keto. It's pretty dang good. And what that is is just uh, it's a cauliflower and bacon dish, okay? Uh, saute some bacon, some onions, some garlic, and some cauliflower. Put some Parmesan cheese on top. Good God. Woo -hoo! Good groceries, I tell you. We're going to do it on the Blackstone, of course. And it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. And your family's going to love it. And it's going to be low carb. So you'll be able to be like getting that bikini and be like, hey, girl, hey. Hey, whatever you want to do, mankini. You can do that too because you're going to be all slim and trim and fit like me. So there you have it. All right. Let's get to the ingredients of what we're going to put in this cauliflower dish. All right. All right. So our ingredients are we got cauliflower. Uh, if you notice what I did is I broke down a whole head of cauliflower. But some of these big florets, I like to cut uh, down half and then sometimes even quarter that. And that just makes a nice face. Uh, see how that is? And that gets a nice char on it, on the black stone. Uh, it just makes it really nice. So if you put all florets, uh, it's fine. But, um, you know, I, what I do is I just like it to have a little bit more uh, surface uh, for, for some caramelization. Uh, I got like three to four strips of bacon. I just cut that up into little chunks. I got butter. I got a half of onion. I got two cloves of garlic over there. I got salt, pepper, and we're going to need some water to steam the cauliflower. So that's just uh, Blackstone's new water bottles. Uh, can be used for oil too if you want. Can be used for whatever. I guess shampoo. If you want shampoo, you can do that. All right, so this is going to go fast. It's going to be awesome. You're going to like it. And let's get it on that Blackstone right here. All right, hey, welcome back, folks. Let's get started, okay? Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get this bacon. I'm going to get this bacon going, get some of that fat rendered off, all right? Uh, we're going to do that first. Uh, that's just just to get things going, get the, get the griddle all nice and bacon greasy. Woo! All right, we got, we got that bacon down. We just want to just want to kind of get it moving a little bit there. All right, we're going to move that over here. Now, the cauliflower, uh, it takes it takes a little bit of uh, takes a little bit of time to get it all steamed and stuff. But um, what I do is I add a little bit of oil down, just a little bit. That's just olive oil. Um, and then I just put the cauliflower on like this. Get on there. Get them all. You want them all kind of, you want it kind of flat. A little better shot there. Put that bacon over here. We're just letting it hang out till the cauliflower can get done. Remember me telling you about that surface? You just want to kind of, I'm just going to flip them over so that it gets that surface uh, contact area. Get it nice and nice and flat. And then, so we're all good right there. We're going to take our water bottle. Don't, don't get it. Don't get it uh, mixed up with your shampoo bottle, all right? I'm going to take this new handy-dandy lid from Blackstone, and we're just going to put it over. We're just going to let that go for a couple minutes, all right? Two to three minutes. Check it off, two to three minutes. <laughs> uh, we're going to take that off, assess it, and it's to your doneness, all right? If you like a little bit more crunchy, cauliflower do it crunchy if you like it really really soft do it soft i kind of like mine with a little bit of crunch to it so don't hate me just you know do what you want to do for yours all right so two to three minutes let's check it all right hey siri set a timer for three minutes okay three minutes and counting all right we'll see you back three minutes all right, two to three minutes. All right, clock. 
All right, it's been three minutes. Let's see what we got, all right? Well. You see a little bit of color right there. But, I lost one. Bye, buddy. You were a good one. Um, yeah, the cauliflower still isn't there. So, what are we going to do? Two to three minutes. Another three minutes. We're really going to wick the water to it. This new lid, pretty awesome. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. All right, three minutes. See you back, all right? All right, here we go. Three more minutes have gone by. Now, let's see what we got. We're getting some good color on this cauliflower. And it's starting to, I can cut it with my spatula. And for me, that's good. Um, and this is gonna cook a little bit more because we're gonna add the bacon, we're gonna add the onions, and we're gonna saute it together. Then the Parmesan cheese. Come on, I'm so excited, yes! So, this is good for me, all right? I am going to, uh, I need to put this somewhere. All right. Okay. We're just going to leave this here. Got some nice browning right there. Nice browning. Ooh, and hot. I don't have, um, I don't have a lot of onion. And I, I really just want it for just some, I don't want a lot of onion in this. I just want it to have an accent um, in with all these other flavors. Uh, just thought it would go really well. So, by the way, uh, temperature-wise, I got the Blackstone on low. All burners are on low. And um, temperature here is... My, my battery's going dead. My battery's almost dead, but that's 315 degrees. In the middle, we're looking at three... Uh, 325 so we just want to get the bacon rendered and we want to get the um, the onions translucent all right you want to wait for your garlic because you don't want the garlic to burn but we could go ahead and put it in our press and just have it ready press if you're interested in a garlic press go to the description Amazon uh, in my Amazon store you find that all right so we're just gonna Get this moving around, get it translucent, then we're gonna add the, uh, add this. Smells amazing, smells amazing. All right, so our onions are nice, are nice and tender. They're gonna cook some more, but we're gonna incorporate it with the uh, cauliflower, all right? And now we get these flavors. Now you got, it's all about building flavors again. I've always talked about that. You got your bacon grease that we just bring all this into, all right? Still need to season it, but it's got some flavor going on. You got the onions, you got the, um, you got the bacon, and now you got the cauliflower. And now I'm gonna do the garlic. Now let's see how tough you are. Blah! Woo! <laughs> I'm not too tough. There we go. And there we go. Good thing about the press is it has these little things. Just pop that out, put the other one in. Whoop, come back here. Two heads, two garlic cloves. I'm going to cut myself. Okay. And do it like that. All right. Good deal. Just a little bit more oil. The bacon, it had some oil. I mean, it had some grease. Not oil. It had some grease, but I think a little bit more is needed. 
So we're just gonna saute this around. Whoo, that looks good. Now, a little salt. Don't be afraid to salt it now, cause cauliflower needs salt. A little pepper. I kinda add the pepper at the end so it don't burn. Mm, boy, it smells good. It smells delish. Look at that. Look at that. All right. This right here, y'all, it is about done. So now, the moment you've all been waiting for, Parmesan cheese. So we're just going to make it rain with Parmesan cheese. I mean, we are going to hit it with some Parmesan. All right. You're probably thinking, that's not a lot of Parmesan cheese, but you just wait. You just wait, Randy. So we do that. And we're going to let that caramelize a little bit. Then we come back. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? I got some butter too. I want to do some butter at the end. Because I feel like cauliflower needs butter. What do you think? Well, I say we dish this bad boy up. We're done. Done. Let's plate it up, all right? All righty. Whoop. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Boy, I smell the butter. I smell that. It's just nice and creamy. I smell it. I smell garlic. I haven't even tasted it yet. Okay? And let's make it rain. You can use some other cheese if you want. Uh, I've made this uh, plenty of times, and I've did uh, I did parm on the griddle, and then uh, at the end I used like a Colby Jack. Colby melts really really easily, so I like old Colby. He's a good old boy of mine. Blackstone, I don't need you anymore. Thank you for your service. There you have it, folks. Um, this thing's gonna probably burn the hide off my tongue, but let's give us a try. I want a piece of bacon. I want a piece of onion. Looks like I got it all. Mm. So I get the saltiness and the smokiness of the bacon first. Maybe that's cause bacon was on the front. But uh, I get garlic next, and then the, the cauliflower still has a crunch, which I said I like. If you like it a little bit softer, you might wanna go nine minutes on your, uh, on your steam. Uh, so just, you just wanna play with that. But it's perfect for me. I like raw cauliflower, so, hmm. It's got a creaminess to it. Also, added that butter. It's, uh, mm. So good. Um, it's very much low carb. It's keto. We like it here just because we like it. We like these kind of vegetables. So, hey, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I uh, just want to thank everybody. We're almost at 60,000 subscribers, maybe even more by the time this video releases. That's crazy. Uh, I've got to do a giveaway at some point. I got some stuff. I just need to get on camera. It's been very busy with me, guys. Um, just a reminder, blackstoneproducts.com. You go put stuff in your cart, enter Hungry Hussy at uh, checkout, get 10% off. Also, I don't advertise this, but a lot of this, these items that I use are in my Amazon store. Go to the description below and check out that Amazon store. So that's that. Also, if you're interested, I got merch. 
uh, use a Teespring service. So down below in the description, there's that link as well if you want a Hungry Hussy t-shirt. So I appreciate you again. I love you. And until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out.